hello, hello, I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Whether you're looking to build a website or an online store to marketing tools, Squarespace has everything you need to build a beautiful website for your business, your side hustle, or your passion project. But more on this a little bit later. In today's video, we're going to Costco. So not too long ago, I took to Instagram and I asked you for recommendations as to what I should get when I'm there, because I've never been there before. And I got a bunch of recommendations Thank you very much. And uh, because Squarespace is sponsoring this video, the budget has just gone up. So I'm not going to hold back anything that I see that I want, I'm going to get. And without further ado, let's go. Okay, we have just arrived at Costco. Because I've never been here before, I have to get a membership. I didn't know that Costco sold televisions. This is really cool. I feel like I can be here for so long. One of my favorite things to do when I go to another country is to check out their supermarkets and their grocery stores. And this is like, this is like a heightened version of that. I'm trying to find where the food is gonna be because that's where I am most interested in. Like in terms of the electronics, it's nice, but that's not the goal. Whoa, look at those TV. That is so huge. This thing, that's $27. It's 14 piece pack. Is that worth it? I think so. I think so. I'm dire. Nice. You got your own Baby, oh. How I knew I have officially became an adult is when I get very excited about vacuum cleaners. Five seventy four for the Dyson one. How much did I buy it for? Okay, there are so many different types of like frozen food items here. There's like the the truffle shalongbao, which I've been recommended quite a few times. There's a whole range of different things. We're gonna get like. I think eight to nine items and then we'll go home and we'll try them. Um, but yes, I'm very, very excited. All right, we are now back from our trip from Costco and we have bought a bunch of stuff. I think I just sort of saw things that I wanted and I bought it. I know I got some recommendations to try their dumplings and also there was a truffle xiaolongbao and I'm like, you know what, let's get it. Why not? So we've got that and we've also got, got a bunch of other noodles and um, my mom saw some snacks that she really wanted. So I was like, yeah, throw that in the trolley. Let's get that as well. So let me just lay out everything that we've got so you can get a bird's eye view of everything. And then I think we're gonna, we're gonna start eating. There are some things that I can eat straight away. Like, you know, the, actually my mom actually opened that already. The mushroom chips, um, we've got a trail mix. Some sort of tea that I think we were drawn to it because of how beautiful the graphics are. Um, and also the premium Wagyu tender cut jerky. And there are some other things that we actually need to cook. So first up we have the prawn ha gao and we also have the black truffle soup dumplings. Then we also have this. We saw it and I just couldn't resist. So hence why we have this. And we also got this one. This is quite heavy. It is duck breast pancake kit. We've got the falafel. We've also got the Korean noodles in savory black bean sauce. It says zhajang min here, which it's something that I love. And we've also got a family favorite. This is the hand wrapped prawn wonton noodles with green choy sum. I've had this before and I really liked it. So I wanted to feature this in my video again. First things first, we'll lay everything out. We'll check out the things that we don't need to cook just yet. And then we'll start cooking um, some of the other stuff. I'm really excited because uh, it seems like we've got a pretty good spread. All right, let's go. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna be trying is the shiitake mushroom crisps. It's lightly cooked and salted. This was something that was recommended to me, hence why 
I decided to get it. So they use vacuum cooking. I don't really know what that is, but apparently it uses less oil. This is what the chip looks like. That's quite interesting. It's like a savory chip, but it's got like that woody flavor from a mushroom. If that makes sense. And the texture is a bit like foamy as well. I'd be okay with eating this if I were to watch a movie. Next up, we've got the crispy trail mix. So the reason we got this is because my mom saw this and she's like, oh, this would be nice for me to bring along to like my hikes and stuff when I go walking. So inside they are individually packaged and it comes with 20 individual packs. And they have cashews, mung beans, they have raisins, sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds. It's nice. The base is quite buttery and short. Okay, yeah. You got a whole tongue all the way there. Okay, more yes, okay. I got the hat, okay, yeah. Do you like it? I don't use it. I don't use it. Not Mm -hmm. For your reason. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I like it. Alright, next up we are trying this tea. It's a hibiscus tea. It's got 60 tea bags. Mom, do you know what hibis hibiscus is? I don't remember his hibiscus at my ago. I don't know either, I have to check. But let's give it a go. Mm -hmm. Okay, while we're waiting for the tea, I think I want to get a move on to the last non-cook item on this list, which is the premium Wagyu beef jerky. I think this was something that was also recommended in my Instagram uh, answers. And I think when my dad saw this, he was like, yeah, let's give this a go. Oh, it's a very beefy smell. They're all cut into little rectangular shapes this is nice it's not too chewy it's still a little bit oily as well i actually really like this i think dad will like it okay now i'm going to try the hibiscus tea the the color has gotten a lot darker um, than initially. It looks like, it looks like like cranberry juice. It's actually not bad. It's quite tart. I think it's, it's nice to drink this um, after a meal, I think. And you can have it cold. I think I would prefer this cold actually. Okay, we're now gonna move on to the cooked items. The first thing that I really wanna show you is black truffle xiaolongbao. And we are also gonna be trying the ha gao. It's a pork dumpling. Essentially, the, the title of this is Chan's Yum Cha at Home, fresh, plump, juicy prawns, delicately wrapped in light dumpling pastry. So let me take these out and uh, put them in the steamer. So while we're waiting for our truffle xiaolongbao to steam, I want to talk a little bit about our sponsor for today, Squarespace. So I've been playing around with the idea of creating guides to cities that I've been to with a particular focus on Sydney and I've started doing that on Squarespace. So they have these drag and drop templates that make it really easy to create pages and it's also quite simple to share your content on different platforms like Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest. And as some of you may know, I have a Sydney Insiders mailing list, which you can join if you want to keep updated on things like discounts or new guides or just things happening around Sydney. Whether you have a business or you're a photographer and want to showcase your photography or you love to cook and you just want some place to house your recipes and photos of food or you have a passion that you really want to blog about, make it with Squarespace. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash janusfung to get 10% off your first purchase. And if you do end up making a website, 
on cooking and recipes, please share that with me. Uh, I think our dumplings are pretty much ready to eat, so taste test time. So, okay, the truffle xiaolongbao and the hagao are both done. So I've got a little sauce palette of uh, uh, Chinese vinegar because I love Chinese vinegar with my dumplings. First up, we are going to try the truffle xiaolongbao. So these, um, these ones take eight to 10 minutes to steam and the hagao takes 15 minutes to steam. We steam them both together and put it in for 15 minutes. And I think that's why some of the xiaolongbao broke off and the soup came out, but uh, I got two that, that wasn't broken and um, I'm gonna bite into it and, and see what's inside. Whoa. So there's a good amount of soup on the inside and of the meat, you can see little specks of truffle there and I can kind of smell a bit of the truffle as well. I'm gonna dip it in the vinegar. Once I bite into the meat, the flavor of the truffle is a lot more pronounced. Okay, now I'm gonna try these hargaus. The wrapper is so light and translucent, it just glistens in the light and you can see through it and, and you can see sort of the prawn meat that's on the inside. The hargao is not bad. I mean, I don't think it's a whole prawn that's on the inside. It's kind of chopped up prawns, but uh, I personally don't mind it at all. If I had to choose between the xiaolongbao and the hargao, I like both. Okay, so this is the hand-wrapped prawn one time with green choy sum. So you have the option of, you can totally just make it with the microwave, but how we usually do it is we just, we just do it over the stove and it's, yeah, it's pretty simple. Okay, so the wontons are done, the wonton noodles are done. So you have the option of using the microwave to do this, which is what my brother usually does because he can't be bothered to cook it on the stove. But I just find that it's quicker to cook on the stove actually. That's why I do it. It's just a personal preference. Anyway, these are the noodles. If I had to compare this with the wonton noodles in Hong Kong, of course it doesn't compare. But given this is instant, it is pretty damn good. Like you look at the vegetables, it's very, very, it just looks very, very fresh. Look at these choy sums. It tastes pretty good. And then you look at these wontons, they're just filled with prawn meat and it's got the wonton wrapper on the outside. Sometimes I would have this with vinegar, like red vinegar if I have it at home, but I don't right now. The prawns are still very bouncy, which I appreciate a lot. And it's still quite savory as well. This is great as, as like a light dinner if I can't be bothered to cook. Okay, on to the next type of noodles, the Korean noodles, the Zhajangmin, noodles in black bean sauce. This is also kind of instant. It apparently only needs five minutes to get ready. Okay, so we have the Korean black bean noodles. There are some, there are bits of like, I'm not sure if they're, they're vegetables or meat, but uh, we're gonna try it and, and I'll let you know what it is. It is, it smells very, very savory. I didn't put the entire packet of sauce in, so we'll see how it goes. I mean, if we need more sauce, we'll just add it in because we've saved the packet. But uh, yeah, first bite of the Korean black bean noodles. The noodles are very nice and chewy. The black bean sauce is very, it's very savory. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. But I still like the wonton noodles better. Made all okay. Well, I mean, that Thai ball. Thai ball tea. Oh, why you hold you? I actually really like the noodles. Mm, I like it. I like that it's very chewy. Okay. Okay, my first uh, try of the falafel, it is a little bit drier on the inside and they don't have any sauce that comes with it. I'm, of course you can make your own. I'm just not too sure what sauce would complement. I think some Greek yogurt would be nice. Anyway, 
I think the flavors are okay, for sure. But I think putting it in the microwave takes away some of the moisture in these falafels. So it's quite dry on the inside and it crumbs quite easily when, when I cut into it as well. But other than that, I think the flavor is quite nice. I can, I can sort of like see all the different ingredients that are in here. There's like chickpeas, there's um, various, I think there's sesame packed into this, there's spices packed into this. So the flavor of this is very nice. It's just the texture is on the drier side. Next time I make this, I'll probably fry it on a pan. All right, next up we have the duck breast pancake. It says to put the duck in the microwave for three minutes. When I told my mom this is also microwavable, she's like, it's not good if it's just microwavable. Anyway, we'll try it. We'll see what it's like. We'll give it the benefit of the doubt. So this is quite a heavy packet. It's one kilo, wow. This is what the duck looks like. Mom, it's her, mommy. 10 Chinese pancakes each. So yeah, in total there are 20. There is a big thing of frozen duck, which I'm not too sure what I need to do with this at the moment. And also two sachets of hoisin sauce. It says number one, using a fork, pierce holes into the duck breast packet and microwave the duck breast for three minutes and then slice meat thinly into 60 pieces. Okay, the duck pancake took a lot longer than the box recommended to prepare. Firstly, the duck, it's not microwaved, it's not done microwaving and heating up in just three minutes. It ended up taking about nine minutes to microwave this. Um, and this is what it looks like. We cut up some cucumbers, we cut up some spring onions, and we also poured the hoisin sauce into a small sauce bucket. And we also ended up steaming some of the, the, the Peking duck wrappers. I'm going to, I'm gonna wrap them all up together and give it a little taste. I haven't had this in a very long time. So I am incredibly excited to, to eat this. I do miss the Peking duck skin, which you can't really recreate in something that, that you're microwaving. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm keen, I'm keen to try. Oh God, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Yeah. Okay, I have got my wrapper that we've steamed in above hot water for about two to three minutes. Let me show you how I typically wrap my Peking pancakes. Here we have it, my very own duck breast pancake with cucumber and spring onions. It's actually not bad. Given the time it took, like it took 10 minutes to microwave the duck and an extra, I think, eight to 10 minutes prepping everything else. It's actually not bad at all. I think I would buy this again because you get like three pretty decent sized duck breasts. It's all cooked and it's all marinated. All you have to do is heat it up. It's quite enjoyable. Let's see what my mom says. Okay, last but definitely not least, we have dessert. This is the uh, Japanese mochi ice cream. So we have mango, vanilla, and green tea. And of course, I'm gonna try all three of them. No point trying to pick one because I wanna try all three. Oh, so they come into, so they come in a big box and then they come into little bo in tiny little boxes like this as well. So there is mango. Green tea, this green tea looks very green. And there is also vanilla. So I think what I'll do is, <clears throat> let's try the vanilla first. Oh, this reminds me of when I was a kid. So this is what it looks like. It is tiny. I can definitely one bite of this, no problem. So let me just peel one off. So this is what the vanilla one looks like. If anything, this just brings back like childhood memories, to be honest. Honestly, it's just vanilla ice cream with like a mochi exterior. Okay, onto the matcha one. So even the exterior, it's a little bit green as well. So this is what the green tea mochi looks like on the outside. 
The matcha ice cream actually tastes pretty good. At the moment, I think I like the matcha one. Sorry, I think I like the green tea one more than the vanilla one. Okay, the last of the mochis is the mango flavored ones. So this is what the mango mochi looks like. It's exactly the same as the vanilla and the green tea one, just a different color. This tastes like a cold mango lolly. Of all the different flavored um, ice cream mochis that I've had, my favorite one is the green tea and then the vanilla and then the mango. All right, and that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I post new videos every week, so check them out if you have time. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh. Fail.